Hello and welcome to the Sensimal Quick Start video tutorial series. In this collection of short video tutorials, we will walk through the process step by step of creating an intelligent IoT sensor device using the Sensimal Analytics Toolkit. We will be using practical examples as we work our way through this process. The topics to be covered will include a brief overview of the toolkit itself and its objectives, followed by the fundamentals of model building and the quick start projects that are available for your use. Following these sections, we will dive into the process itself, beginning with getting started with the data capture lab, capturing event sensor data, labeling your data, getting started with Analytics Studio, building a model with Sensible Dashboard, validating your results. And finally, for the more advanced use cases, we will briefly cover advanced model building. Sensible is a general purpose AI or machine learning toolkit whose purpose is to help developers build working code that transforms raw sensor data as commonly collected by sensor and IoT endpoints into the important insights for a given application, doing so directly at the endpoint device itself. This is a very complex process and otherwise requires a great deal of coding and expertise to pull off without tools like Sensible. The range of applications that are possible to build using the toolkit are many. What is shown here are just a few examples of smart sensors that have been successfully built by Sensible and our customers using the toolkit. These include, in the consumer sector, sports and fitness wearables, smart appliances, and pet wearables. Under industrial and commercial applications, predictive maintenance and factory automation smart sensors, safety wearables for industrial workers, fleet maintenance sensors, and smart city applications are just a few of the types of predictive algorithms that can be built using the toolkit. The process of building an application using the Sensible Toolkit involves four general steps. First is, as with any machine learning or AI process that uses a supervised machine learning approach, we teach the process by example, by collecting empirical data for the application and then labeling that data according to the desired outcome. This is done in step one, which can either be done by importing existing data or by collecting new data either streamed or stored from the device, and then pulled into the toolkit using an application called the Data Capture Lab. A unique and important feature of the toolkit is that it is aware of your target device and can optimize the application code to fit within the resource constraints of that device, giving you the best possible model accuracy for the hardware that you've chosen to use for your end device. Thus, stage two is the selection of your target hardware, along with the application constraints and algorithm preferences. Step three involves Analytics Studio, which is a server-based application that uses highly parallelized code to search through the optimal set of feature extractors, target segmenters, and classifiers to give you the idealized outcome based on the label data that you provided in step one. The output of step three is either a library file or a compiled binary that can be directly flashed to your device. In either case, the resulting code is then compiled either with your own additional code or it's directly created from the compiled binary coming from the tool and flashed to your device. Once completed, you now have a standalone smart sensing device that can now autonomously inference or classify results coming from the physical sensor signals in real time without any further need of the tool or the cloud.